Hi everybody, uh, Lynn B. Thurgood here, OWA Live. Today we're talking about healthcare costs. And so they uh, came to the old geezer of the firm to have a little chat with everybody about that since I'm the one that's gonna be uh, looking at things like Medicare and everything else. In fact, I'm just around the corner from uh, reaching that magical age of 64. So uh, anyways, we do have an article on our website uh, on healthcare costs. It's, uh, we just referenced the link below and you can go look at that report. I wanna elaborate a little bit on that for you here today. Uh, projected uh, lifetime costs, according to various surveys, of a healthy 65-year-old of healthcare in retirement. The cost of healthcare in retirement is a whopping $400,000. Now that shocked me when I first saw that. That does not include what's already being covered by health insurance coverage, typically Medicare for those 65 and older. So these are costs above that, which just shocked me uh, it includes some inflation projections, but the bottom line is there are expenses and we need to plan for them. Uh, the, the, the people were asked, gee, how much do you think you're gonna spend in retirement you, in the 65 to 75 year range? And they said, well, probably about maybe two or 3,000 a year. Everything else should be covered by my insurance, et cetera. Wrong. Uh, experts estimate you gotta triple that number triple that number. In fact, I'm looking at a study right now where uh, they say it's about 13,000 a year for folks in the 65 to 75 group. It goes to 24,000 a year on the 75 plus. And if you're 85 or older, they're estimating 40,000 a year is gonna be spent on healthcare above and beyond again, what insurance and other things cover. Doesn't include long-term care or anything either. That's an extra expense on top of that. Why the higher costs? Well, inflation is one of those reasons. Uh, life expectancy, we're living longer. And with that longer life come advances in healthcare and technology that are very expensive to prolong life. And hopefully we have quality of life. So what do we do about this? What are the solutions? Well, save for the future. Don't be in denial. The sooner you get started, the better. Plan for it. Uh, HSAs are a great plan, a tax advantage plan. You get triple tax advantages. The contributions are tax free. The growth is tax free. And when withdrawn for eligible expenses, uh, it's withdrawn tax free as well. Uh, you can set up your own HSA or you can uh, get it uh, set up through your employer. So it's a good question, a good discussion to have. We have a nice chart here that uh, we make available to everybody, our uh, you know, key financial data. On the back of that is a discussion about HSAs. You have to ha have a high deductible health plan to be eligible to do an HSA through an employer or on your own, and so there's lots of rules, but understand the benefits of an HSA, health savings account. Let's see what else. Medicare, of course, you've got part A, part B, you've got part D and part C, and. That's another discussion for another day, but understand Medicare and what it does and does not cover. That's important. How long are you gonna live realistically? Consider your family history and your personal history and, and plan accordingly. Uh, Pre-plan for those long-term care expenses. And finally, uh, be very careful about memory care, dementia, that kind of thing. Uh, a lot of people lose a lot of savings, a lot of assets. In, in that uh, time frame where the memory is getting a little bit weak or dementia is setting in, particularly among women living longer. Uh, so that's something to be prepared for and to protect against. Anyway, bottom line, healthcare in retirement is not cheap. So plan for it, be prepared for it, uh, and uh, sleep better at night knowing that you're ready to uh, cover those expenses. That's it for today. Uh, we wish you well. Have a wonderful uh, upcoming summer ahead. And uh, as always, we're here to be a resource for anything you might need. Just uh, contact our office, uh, our website, everything, all that information is attached to this message. Until next time, good health.